In this video, I'll do a full example solve of the 6x6. Six six. Okay, now I'm going to do a full example 6x6 six six solve. So let's start out by solving the white center first, just for the sake of simplicity. Um, and what I'm going to do first is build a 1x4 bar on the top here. So I notice that I've got this inner center as well as this one. And if I move this one up to here, then I can also use this one like that to create this one by three bar. Now I need to look for another center piece which goes right here. And uh, I can use this one here. So by doing u prime f white r like that, I can get this one by four line. Now what I'm going to do is build the next one by four line. Um, I need these two inner center pieces and I can grab this one and this one like that. Now I need to find these two center pieces. So I've got this one, which I can match up here, and then this one over here, which I can bring down here, and then move up like that. Now I need to create these two one by four outer lines. So uh, there's a few things I can do here. I'll, I see these two, and I can attach this one to these two bringing it down like so. Then um, to create the one by four line, I've got this one over here, which I can bring down here and then move up to the top. Now, what I want to do is get rid of any white pieces on this bottom face here. So I'll move this one and attach it to here like that. And now I need to find this edge and this, uh, this, this center piece and this center piece. So what I can do is do a U prime, move this one down here, and then do a U prime over here, and move this one like that, and then place them. And now I've solved my first center. So next up, we're gonna solve the second center using the same one by four line approach. And what I'm going to do first is attach these two to this one, and then attach this piece to these three, like that to create a one by four line and then just insert it into the top. Then next up, um, what I'm going to do is actually bring this one down to here like that. And then when I do wide R prime, U prime wide R like that, that creates a one by four, which I can bring into the top layer like so. Now I've got these two lines. Now I've got these two pieces, which I can attach with this one. Now I need to find a piece like this, which is up here bring it down and then insert those into my top face. And lastly, I need to pair up this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. So probably what I'm going to do is bring these two down to the front like that. Then I've got this one, which I can attach there. And then to finish off the one by four bar, I can do L prime U prime L like that. And then insert the pieces. And now my yellow center is solved. Okay, after this, it's time to decide which color we're going to do next. And because we already have a one by four on this orange face here, um, what I'm going to do is actually just continue working on the orange center. Now, I also see that I've got these three here, like this, which I can attach with this one, and then bring that down to create the second one by four on orange. Now, I have these two pieces, so I can attach these two, I can attach this one to these two like that to create this almost complete one by four line. Then what I'm going to do is bring this orange centerpiece to here by doing a slice move, moving out of the way, slicing back, and then bringing it back down. And now I've got this one, this uh, three by four center. So I just need to create this last one by four bar. So I've got these two pieces and this one. So what I'm going to do here is do a wide R, U, wide R prime. So let me just quickly undo that. So wide R moves it up to here, U there, and then R prime like that. Then the last orange centerpiece is down here. I can bring it up to these two, bring it up to here by moving it over to this position and then doing R2, U prime, wide R prime like that. So next up, because I know my color scheme, I know that I need to put the blue centerpieces here. And so what I'm going to do is try and figure out how to make a blue center, a uh, blue one by four to start out with. 
So I see I can attach this one to these two by doing y, uh, by doing r prime u r like that. Now all I need is one of these inner center pieces. So I can get this one here and do something like a slice move like that, then u, then another slice move. Like so, and now I've created this one by four line. So probably what it makes sense to do is put it onto the bottom. So now I can see all the other pieces that are unsolved around here. And I see I've got this one by three line and this piece down here, I can attach to it by doing R2 U prime R2. And then insert these two, uh, insert this one by four down to here with wide R2 U2 prime, wide R2 prime. And after that, um, I'll work on the next one by four, the outer one by four. So I've got these three already created for me. So I can do R U R prime and then just insert it down there like that. Now, this is a little bit trickier. I need to figure out how to put together this piece, this piece, this piece, and this piece. I can do something like U prime and then R prime F R to pair up these two and this one. Then setting these three up to align with this one. So I can do a slice move like that. And then R2, U2, R2 to place it into the bottom. Now for my last center, um, for my last two centers, sorry, the red, the red center pieces need to go here and the green center pieces belong up here. So I've already got this one by four line created for me on the red face. So I'm going to create an outer one by four to attach to it. So I'm going to use these three and this one like that and then do a U and then insert it down there. Now for this next one by four, so the second inner one by four, because we're going from inner, uh, from inside to outside, um, I need to attach these two together firstly. So I can do this by doing a wide R U wide R prime like that. And then what I can do is I see that if I put this piece up to there, uh, up to there and then I create this one by three line and also see that this one will help me create the one by four. So if I do do R U2 R prime like that, then I get this one by four. And then luckily enough, this final one by four bar was actually already completed for me. So I can just insert it like so. And now we've solved our centers of the six by six. As I described in the tutorial, solving the edges of the 6x6 is pretty straightforward, or at least solving the first eight edges is very straightforward. So it's basically just a matter of looking around the cube, finding pieces, and um, yeah, and, and pairing them up together intuitively. So the first thing that I see here are these two, this white and blue. So this piece and this piece. And I see I've got this white and blue one here. So I can do R, U prime, R prime slice to create it together and then look around the cube for the next white and blue piece which is this one here so we do f r prime f prime r and then slice to solve it now because i've solved this one uh, i want to look for some pieces which are not uh, i want to look for some edge pieces which are uh, which could be paired to get which are paired together already so it doesn't really make too much sense to you know put this white and orange one in there and then look for the three other white and orange pieces when in fact we can do something like this. So we've got this white piece and this white and red and this white and red already paired together. So I can insert those and now I'm looking for the last two white and red pieces. Um, I see one of them is here. So I can move that one over here. And then this last one back here belongs uh, in the slice above it. So in the belongs in the layer above it up here. So what I can do is take it out from the back by doing R prime U R and then insert it like that and then slice to pair up those pieces. Now, next up, I do see this white and orange one back here and these two white and orange pieces. So I can do F R prime F prime R slice there. And now I've solved these three white and oranges and the final white and orange one is up here. And then I can slice. Now let's look around for what's next. Um, at the moment I've done three uh, edges which have white on them. So just looking around, the last white pieces are there, there, there and there. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and solve those. Um, that would be, I guess, a nice easy choice. So what I can do is do this bottom one and this one, F R prime, F prime R. 
slice, flip over the cube, and then insert these last two. So insert this one, and then insert this one. And now comes a decision of what to solve next. And luckily enough, we've got these three yellow and blue ones already solved for us over here. And the last yellow and blue one is here. So I can insert this piece, slice it across. Then I saw these two orange and yellows. So I've got this orange and yellow one. So I can do L prime U L. Slice there to solve those. Then look for the last orange and yellow piece. And it's up here. Slice to solve those. Then next thing I see is actually these blue and red. So I'll just insert these blue and reds and then look for the last piece, which is actually over here. So I'll insert that. I can insert that into the left slot like this, like this and then move it across. And then finally, I see these two blue and orange pieces and the other two blue and orange pieces are here and here. So I can do something like F R prime F prime R, connect these two, and then bring them around here, take it out, and then restore our centers uh, because we've solved the first eight edges now. These four on top and these four on the bottom here like that. So as I've shown you in the tutorials, the way in which we're going to uh, tackle the last four edges is to do them from inside to outside. So that is solve these two edges in the middle on every single uh, combination of four edges and then solve the remainder of the edges as if they're like a five by five edges. So it's kind of like solving the last four edges on a four by four and then solving the last four edges on a five by five. And it's, uh, it's helpful, it's very helpful to keep these four unsolved edges all in one slice like this. So you don't want to have, you know, this unsolved one on the top here, one of them on the bottom and then a couple in the middle slice. You want to keep them all in these four positions like this. So the first uh, pieces that I see is this one. Um, I could also do th this one and this one are uh, decent or a decent option to do. So what I can do is slice, flip this one and then slice back like that. Then I can do the same thing for these two. So this uh, red and yellow, so slice, flip, slice back. And then for my last two edges, I actually see I've got them in the same layer as well. So these, this one here, the green and yellow and the green and yellow here and the green and red and the green and red down here. So I can do a wide U2, flip and undo that. Now I see that uh, what I can do for these last so now that I've paired up these inner edges, it's basically just like a five by five. And I see that I've got this, uh, th this uh, combination of three edges here and its final one is down here. So I know I did say that uh, you should try and keep them out of the top and bottom layers where possible and just keep the unsolved edges in the middle slice. But for cases such as these, what we can do is just take out the back edge, slice to solve this one, and then just replace it with this unsolved edge and then slice back. And now we have three edges left to solve. And this is again, something we can do for this case where we've got these three edges and this one, which we just need to use to pair it up. So we can take this one out, slice, insert that one, and then slice back. Um, and now what I'm going to do is just a slice flip slice to solve these yellow and reds. And luck, uh, unluckily we have five by five edge parity. So I'll just go ahead and do this algorithm. And then solve the cube as if it were a three by three. So I'm going to work on my cross. Like that this F2L pair, this F2L pair, this F2L pair, and then this F2L pair. Um, now I've got OLL parity. And then OLL. And unluckily we've got PLL parity. And then I have a U permutation. And then we're solved.